What is going on everybody? It's your boy Retro celebrating one year milestone of Sonic Blast from the past. Now on this one year anniversary special you will see me and Prince sharing some of our favorite moments, favorite episodes, favorite collaborations from the whole entire Sonic Blast from the past series. Now we have it in two videos where me and Prince are going to answer some of your frequently asked questions. Questions that we never got to in the comment section. So I hope you guys enjoy it and remember to subscribe and remember to get your points. All that good stuff. But this is the one year anniversary of the entire series. So sit back and relax. We got some questions that we're going to be have answered for you. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoy once again. My favorite episode would have to be episode two from season one, where we was choosing our top ten levels on Sonic Generations. Reason reason is because. Sonic Generations was still hot at the time, you know what I'm saying? Everybody was still playing it, everybody was still hyped about it being a good Sonic game and you know actually sitting down and talking about our top nine levels was, was a good idea. I enjoyed that very much. I'm hoping this year Sega do drop another good Sonic game, a big title at that, so we can have more topics about, you know, top nines, top whatever. You know, that was a good time. I enjoyed that very much. What was my, my favorite episode in the past year? Now, this one had me thinking because we and Prince made a lot of good episodes. And uh, I think my favorite episode was the one that me, Prince, and D-Man did. Episode number three, I believe. Uh, Sonic vs. Mario in season two. So check that out. The link will be in uh, the, on the video. And uh, the reason why I like it is because it was the first time we actually offered, uh, we did a collaboration with some, someone other than just me and Prince. And uh, D-Man offered good insight, and that video has, has over like 5,000 views. It's very popular. And um, just comparing two historic figures in the gaming industry, Sonic and Mario, uh, I think we did a good job of uh, offering perspective, unique perspective, different perspective, and in the process we had fun. So. If I had to, I mean, we had a lot of good episodes. It's really hard to narrow it down to just one episode, but I do believe that was my most favorite episode. Choosing a favorite season between the three is uh, kind of hard. You know, I enjoyed them all. You know, I had a good time doing it every season. You know what I'm saying? We have good topics, good versus series and all that you know everything was good in every season but i would have to say season one you know season one was very it's, it's a classic man you can't you can't beat season one you know it it showed us it showed the fans what we had to bring when it came to sonic blast from the past series you know i enjoyed it you know it was fun getting into it bringing up ideas what we can do for further more seasons and episodes so yeah, season one, where well, I would say yeah, that was my best, my my favorite season. Nothing can beat season one. Probably, never know, but season one for right now, I had to go with that. All right, so my favorite favorite season out of the three. Now, this one is a little bit tough because we only have three to choose from, and all three of them to me were really good. Um, you can't go wrong with with season one because it was the very first season that we did we didn't know how things were going to go and it still turned out well can't go wrong with season two because season two got a whole lot of views and we we actually did some collaborations and season three was our versus series which was very creative very unique and it's hard to pick but i have to go with season one i have to go with season one with prince because like just like prince said because it was classic it was the first time we did this and we didn't know what to expect uh new intro new uh new viewers of the show, you know, people that never even saw my channel or Prince channel. It was something different and I'm, I'm always a fan of classic. I think classic, nothing beats classic. So I have to go with the season, season one episode, it just nothing beats it. Oh man. I think the most enjoyable thing about making these episodes, these, this series, is working with Prince. I think working with Prince really really got things kick uh kick started in a positive direction um prince is a guy that knows a lot about sonic and i know a lot about sonic you get two unique perspectives and i think 
that's what makes this series great. Now, me and Prince are two, we, we offer two different type of perspectives. Prince is more of a, a, a feelings type person in terms of how he felt when he played the game. I'm more of a technical, into detail oriented, uh, little small little things about uh, Sonic and, uh, and the games that he came out with. If you watch some of the episodes, you will see, I will break down just a tiny little bit of detail and just run with it. You know, in Prince, you know, it's more the type where he shares the experiences about the fun that he had back then and such and such. And you combine those two, that technical aspect, and you combine that that personal experience feeling and you throw that in together and you get two unique ideas and I think that's what makes this series great I think that's why I enjoy it most is that getting someone who not only knows a lot about Sonic but can can bring something different something different that I don't bring to the table and I think that's what Prince offers that makes this series great well to basically sum it up it was nothing I didn't like you know what I'm saying everything about the Sonic Blast from the past series I enjoy, you know. When we, when we first came up to the idea of making this series, I, everything that is happening, everything that is happening, I saw it coming, you know what I'm saying? I knew it was going to be like this and I'm glad it is like this, you know. I'm very happy I had the opportunity to reach out to Retro to make this Sonic Blast from the past series, you know what I'm saying? He's very dedicated and puts his time into the videos that we make. And to see the fans give us our feedback, to see y'all, you know what I'm saying, give us our feedback that we want, you know, the likes and the comments, you know, the the commenting, like, you know, having the, set, set, the debating session is in the comment is, is what we like, you know what I'm saying, so just to see that, it's a great feeling, you know, I hope y'all continue to support us in the series, and, you know, and just the fact that, you know, the Sonic community, the Sonic fan community is being overlooked. I mean, when I first came on YouTube, you know, I thought there wasn't that much Sonic fans on YouTube. You know, I saw a couple of videos, but I didn't know it was this big, you know. The Sonic fans are, are being overlooked because of the bad games that have been recently made from Sega. So, just to see the fans stick together, even through Sonic bad period of time of gaming, it's a good thing, you know, it makes me happy, it makes me proud. So, everything about the series, you know, we get to talk about it and reach out to the fans is a good thing. I enjoy it very much. You know, I love y'all, you know, I love the support. So, yeah, keep supporting us and we'll keep throwing y'all the videos that y'all want. Now, me and Retro might have different answers on this. I don't know, we're not too much clear on this, uh, how it came to be, like, the name and idea. Well, I remember back when I was in North Carolina, uh, I saw his channel, I was like, yo, he talking about Sonic, you know what I'm saying? You know, I was like, he's talking, he talking real shit. You know, he knows what he's talking about. So I'm like, you know, I'm gonna hit him up and I'm gonna see if I can get on his channel, you know, do a, a show or whatever, you know. So I hit him up. And I was like, yo, we should do a show, but, you know, I'm in North Carolina right now, I just moved there, you know, I don't have a laptop and a good camera and good lighting and shit, so I was like, okay. So the idea came, but it was, like, on hold for a long time, for, like, a good long time. <laughs> so I was like, yo, I'm moving back home, you know, I was going back to South Carolina, I was like, yo, I'm going back home, we're going to get the series started, well, this this episode started and we're gonna go from there. So, I remember I came back in Virginia. I was like, yo, um, I'm in Virginia right now. I'm gonna be home. Yeah, like I said, I don't know why I'm repeating myself again. I do that when I tell stories sometimes. I don't know. But I said, yo, you need the name of the. He said, yo, name, give it, give a good name and we can go ahead and do this. So I was thinking, I'm like, man, I don't know. I'm terrible at making names. Uh, shows and stuff so I'm like um it took me a minute I was like I don't know uh, okay I was like alright we old school gamers you know going back from Nintendo Super Nintendo uh, Sega Genesis so I'm like since we played Sonic from Sega Genesis we are from the past 
you know, I was like, you know, I want to talk about strong game from the past as well. So I'm like, old gamers, Sonic, Sega Genesis, Sonic Blast from the past. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, you know, so I was like, Sonic Blast from the past. I was like, I hope you like this shit, you know. It didn't sound too good for at, to me at first. I was like, it sounded like, like something I just came up with at the top of my head, like Sonic Blast from the past. But I actually put time and thought into it. I'm like, I don't know. But it turned out he liked the idea. So he came up with the idea of the series. Now, I, that's on his part right there. <clears throat> I was like, I just wanted to, I was basically, it was the plan was to do one episode. And he was like, nah, man, you know what? We're going to make this to a series. You know, he's like, we're going to do, it can go on and on and on. We can make more episodes. We come up with ideas and make this into a good series. I'm like, okay, that's a good idea. So we went on from there and success right here, man. Two dudes love what they talk about. Excuse me for that noise, my little cousin. <sighs> but um, two dudes just meet up one day. Yo, series right here complete success anybody can do it if you put time and effort into it so yeah that's how the idea and the, the show came to be all right so the name I do believe if I'm not mistaken that Prince was the guy that that came to me um, I noticed his channel a while back and uh, I knew he knew a lot about Sonic but I never really came to him about the idea I think he came to me and I asked him um, could he come up with a name for the show? Because um, I'm not really creative with, with stuff like that, especially with not with uh, not with naming anything. That's that's a little bit more that's a little bit challenging for me. And uh, he came up with Sonic Blast in the past, and he took some time with it. Uh, he got back with me in the inbox and said, uh, "This is what we're gonna name it." Uh, you know, me not being the creative type, you know, went along with it, and it, it had a good ring to it, Sonic Blast in the past. And I believe I was the guy who. Who decided to turn it into a show, a series where people could expect something every Thursday? It used to be every Thursday, and now it's uh, every was well, every week mainly, but it used to be every Thursday. Now it's just either Thursday, Friday, or Saturday, one of the three days. And um, yeah, so I think Prince came with the name. I, I decided to make it a series. I think Prince could probably say the same thing, um, but it was a, it was a group, uh, a two man effort to put this show together. And I think that's what's great about this. Alright, were there any funny moments that I enjoyed <laughs> through any of the seasons? Now, this one, this is actually funny. Now, I don't know if Prince actually noticed this, but uh, there was a time, uh, I think it was uh, the Sonic 2006 comparison, the pros and cons of Sonic uh, 06. And it was me, Prince, D-Man, and Saeed. And we were doing a four-man collaboration. Me and Saeed were supposed to take the side of the pros of Sonic 06. And Prince and D-Man were supposed to take the, the cons. And we were recording. And we would, it, the conversation got so good that the, the time limit was structured for only uh, 20 minutes per, per video. And um, I said we had a limit. Saeed and D-Man, were, they were so into the heated debate of what made those two games really good. They talked for an hour. I mean, they thought I was still recording. The, they was they actually thought I was still recording um, the whole conversation. I actually had cut it at a certain time frame because it was going way too long. It was no way the episode could have been that long. But uh, it was funny because I, I sent, while they were talking, I sent a message to Prince saying, "Look at these guys go. They are just they are still talking about this. And uh, I mean, supposedly this is one of the worst games of all time, and they're still going at it." And me and Prince, would, uh, while we were on Skype, we were, we were texting while they were talking. It was just funny. We were just laughing because these guys, I mean, no harm or no foul or no offense, but these guys were still talking. They just would not shut up. And uh, I thought it was kind of funny that uh, me and Prince really noticed that. But um, I do respect your opinions. I actually thought it was kind of funny because these guys were really into Sonic, and that's what made, uh, that tells me that a funny moment. You know, we were just laughing on the sidelines while those two were going at it. But that was pretty funny. Uh, funny moments. Uh, we had a, a a couple few good funny moments. Um, you know, I remember this couple of times during recording sessions, and like when we not recording, we have a few good topics or whatever, and we just be laughing and stuff, having a good time. Uh, I remember this one time uh, I was recording, and I'm like, 
I know a plane is not about to come over this house, man. It's like, it's like it took a slow ass time, like just coming over the house. It sound like it was loud as hell. I'm like, I was like, man, I know you hear this shit. I was like, please don't stop recording though, because we far into this recording with no slip ups or anything. I'm like, come on, please, please. So, you know, he heard it, but we kept kept the uh, the, uh, recording, but I don't know, I forgot what episode that was, but it was just taking the slowest time. But the most funniest moment was when uh, D-Man and uh, Saeed was uh, when we were going to the cons and pros against uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 06, and we was talking about at least kissing, at least kissing Sonic. (laughs) And uh, when Saeed, yeah, I think his little sister was yelling in the background and stuff. I was <laughs> oh, okay. We was recording, so I wanted to be a little professional, not to bust out and laugh and stuff. So I was like in my head, I was laughing out loud, but I had a couple of chuckles, you know. I was like, what the? Fuck? <laughs> Yo, man, that was funny as hell to me because you know, uh, D man was like, at least kissing Sonic. That's that's nasty. What, what, what's that? That's nasty as hell. They might have some kind of disease or something. Like, man, this is crazy as hell. But that was a funny moment for me of a Sonic Blast from the past too. Um, am I proud of the series? Of course, um, I'm proud of the series because the series has grown. Like, we have three seasons. I mean. I, I mean, I couldn't be more proud. I mean, even if we just ended it with one season, I would've been proud because um, this is not something that you see on YouTube. I mean, if you go on YouTube, you don't see a series like this dedicated to just talking about Sonic. With the collaborations and the uh, the experienced minds of me and Prince and D-Man and Saeed, you don't see that. And I think that's uh, one reason to be proud of. And if you type in Sonic Blast from the past, you will see the first thing that comes up is the series that we have created. So uh, on the front page, so who couldn't be more proud of that? And then the series has over um, over 20k total views. Uh, you add all the seasons up, 20k views. I don't think me or Prince expected the series to have 20 views, 20k views, uh, 20,000 views within three seasons. So uh, I have every reason to be proud. I'm proud of Prince for um, for keeping the series going. There has been times where I've gotten lazy. And, you know, Prince said we got to step it up. And there's been times where Prince might have been lazy. And, you know, we got to get this series going. And, uh, and that's been the motivation to keep this series going because we have loyal viewers out there that want that want to see the series. I'm very proud of how the series has been, you know, from day one up to now. It's been a whole year, you know, since we made this series and we accomplished a lot during these three seasons, you know. I'm very proud of it. I'm very proud of y'all, the fans, y'all supporting us and doing what we like to talk about. You know, we love making YouTube videos, you know, even though sometimes I get lazy on my part, you know, but it happens when you do, when you're on YouTube, because you gotta get all set up, you gotta have great, every great quality, everything, you know, it takes time, all that, but if you put a lot of effort to it, it would come out to be something great and wonderful. You would love it, love the fans and all that, but, I enjoy it very much, you know, I'm proud of how successful this uh, this one little idea and one episode that was supposed to be turned out to be a great series, you know, it's an honor to be doing this and working with Retro, I enjoy this very, very much, you know, I love talking about Sonic, I love giving out facts and, you know, talking about what I know since I've been a true fan since I was a kid, since back in... Sega, you know, Sega Genesis era. So I enjoyed this very much. I am proud and very happy of how successful the series has been. Yes, I am very eager and ready to do more seasons. You know, we got something good going on right now, so why not do more episodes, more seasons? I really don't know how long this season or excuse me, this series will last. You know. 
but I think it will last for a good, good, good minute, a good while. You know, it's something good. You know, enjoy talking about Sonic. We do what we do, so y'all can very much, pretty much look forward for more, more seasons. I uh, love re working with Retro. He's a good guy. You know, puts his time into this. You know, I put my time into it too. You know. So yeah, more season to come, just be on the lookout. Subscribe to the main channel. Subscribers, please. Fans, spread the word, everything. Do what you need to do to help us and support us and bring this series out to more people as it is. As we do got a lot now, but we need y'all to spread the word too. So yeah, that's about it.